Hi, this is Charlie Setterfield. I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up design options uh, for this little building. Um, one set of options is going to have to do with whether or not I have a gable roof or a hip roof. The other set of options is going to have to do with whether or not I have an entry vestibule or not. And then in the third video, I think we will take a look at how to deal with changing out doors in design options, because that's a little added layer of complexity. So first thing we want to do, go to the Manage tab in Revit, and you've got a Design Options panel here. Most of it is grayed out because we haven't established any options yet. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Design Options. Notice that I've got the same thing down at the bottom of the screen in that uh, gray ribbon down at the bottom next to uh, work sets. So anyway, so I've got design options and um, what I need to do is to put in a new option set. So uh, my option number one, or I'm sorry, option set number one, I'm going to click on that and then change the name uh, just to keep it straight from the very beginning. Uh, so I'm going to call that roof options and I'm going to say OK and then I've got an option already set up in there. It says option number one and it is primary. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that one, rename that one, and call that one uh, hip roof. And notice it keeps the primary. Primary means that that's the option that will display in views when you open them. Right. So we'll go through that in a minute but just just remember that it says primary. And then I need to add an option here for um, a gable roof. So gable roof. So now I've got my roof options set up. I'm going to put in another option set. This one I'm going to rename this one right away and I'm going to call that vestibule Oops, Buell options. I'm going to take the option number one that it created automatically, rename that to with vestibule, and then very creatively make another one, rename it that says without vestibule. Oops. So now I've got my options set up. So we'll stop there for a minute.